Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to tell you a little bit about laser magic. As you can see, here we have a crystal, it's called BBO crystal. So this crystal is used for second harmonic generation. So we have our infrared uh, laser model with a wavelength 1064, it's near dim uh, yog. And we have a crystal that actually generates 532 green light. Uh, so what's actually happening? It's called non-linear crystal. Let me just show you a small, um, a small explanation how this thing works. Okay, we have a crystal right here. And we have photons that come here inside this crystal. Okay, and you're zooming. Okay, the thing is that photons can get combined in this non linear element. And at the end, for example, we had four, four photons with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers. And here in this crystal, we have magic. And then we have two photons with wavelength 532 nanometers. So it actually remains the same energy. So uh, we have four photons here with uh, lower energy, and we have two photons with two times more energy. So we have our uh, beloved equation of. Uh, where we have the same energy goes inside and outside. Also, we have some um, some losses inside the crystal because not all photons are actually uh, generate uh, this this pair. So we have some some heat that is actually happens to to appear here. So that's very important. So the crystal is uh, remains cold. Uh, this crystal actually uh, locates outside the resonator. Sometimes we have an initial crystal that is uh, now deemed uh, young, and we have, let's say, Q switch here. Uh, in our case, we have passive Q switch. Uh, it's somewhere here, and and uh, mirror over here on this crystal. So it resonates like this. And then, when there is enough energy, then Q switch allows energy to go out. So this crystal, BBO, BBO particular, this one, is located outside. But sometimes crystals could be like could be located somewhere here, and then they are more more efficient. This crystal is something like 50% efficiency, but could be could be more. Uh, how do I know that it's 50%? I have calorimeter that is located here okay and we have power it's 0. Point, oh no uh, 2 percent so we have roughly uh, 60 milliwatts let's increase power to 10 percent okay we also have some losses. I must admit that I damaged a little bit this crystal, but uh, let's see. Okay. Yes, I think I missed uh, the direction. So now you see that the power is heating 500 milliwatts. So if I increase even more, let's say 25%, like I said, I damaged the crystal a little bit, so it might not work well right now, but it should be something like, like one watt or so. And we see some light reflection as well. Okay, 
so it's getting to 1.2, 1.3. So we have output which is 2.6 watts and we have 1.2 watts output. So it's, it's really, really efficient crystal, I must say. So we can actually put this crystal outside our laser and get something like 5 watt uh, green laser, which is quite, quite powerful. And we're making, we plan to make more experiments and tests and plan to share it with you. So this was a very short video I wanted to share with you. So if you have any questions, let me know, gf at endurancetravels.com or text me plus 7916 and have wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye bye.